ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel now today we are back it's another patch notes breakdown day so yeah so we're going to jump into this we're going to have a look we're going to see there's actually going to be some i briefly you know scrolled through and there is actually some really 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 good changes here some some stuff that people including myself have been complaining about is getting tweaked and uh, as you can see here the first one is the death the, the, the death respawn changes so yeah so let's get into this one before we do like share and subscribe you know the drill leave me a comment down below and then yeah let's jump into it so what is new change the death respawn rule normally if a character dies no experience loss will occur and no recovery fee will be charged so finally guys this is huge this has been one of the most annoying and stupid thing in this game I've always hated when you're going to have PvP, you're going to have some fun, and then obviously you're dying over and over and over again, and then you have you have a really good fun time on the PvP. Then it comes to the end of it, and then what are you left with? You're left with a disgustingly high, stupidly high gold bill that you have to you know you have to pay, you have to clear your death stacks because you're glowing red, all of that stuff. <laughs> so finally, it's saying that there'll be no fee. But if you're in a PvP space, basically the respawn rules will be changed and you'll get a respawn cooldown. And what the developers have said, in case of the previous death penalty, it was accompanied by a loss of experience. But compared to the meaningless penalty at the time of reaching 50, it just basically causes stress, which they're trying to say, and which, which what I just said. Then they're saying, however, due to the concerns that the removal of the death penalty could lead to non-tense battles. I don't know who the hell says this, right? This is so dumb. Like in, 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 in no matter what game you play, games that don't have any death penalties, no fees and stuff, you don't want to die anyway. It's not like you it's not like you think to yourself, oh, there's no gold cost in this, so I'm gonna I I, I don't care about dying. Nobody who's competitive wants to die in any PvP game. So whoever says this, I don't understand. But basically what they're doing now is they're doing a separate respawn rule which is gonna provide a respawn cooldown. So the so-called zombie rush, which is what all of us say, we say we're playing Call of Duty Zombies because you wipe a team and then in about a couple seconds, you've got the second and third and fourth wave of zombies attacking you. So they're now gonna basically do this. So if we're in a, a, a guild boss, like PVP boss, and there's six or seven guilds, if you wipe one or two guilds, if you're the one that is winning, you've now got a time where there's going to be no respawns. They're going to have to group up. People are going to, there's going to be staggered respawns. So this is going to give you time to focus DPSing on the boss. Um, and it's going to give you time to, you know, regroup in the area and wait for the enemy to attack you instead of, you know, you died and the whole guild just rushes in again and so on and so forth. That was pretty damn annoying. And now it says, obviously, they've removed the death penalty. So under normal circumstances, characters' death do not penalize experience loss and death. And then there's obviously what we just said about the um, the respawn timer. So you can see here in the photo, if you keep dying, then you have to wait 10 seconds and so on and so forth. So that's really, really good. It just constantly, again, like I said, staggers the death. So what is this? Treatment of the after effects of death. After effects of death and serious after effects of death will be automatically healed after two hours without any additional recovery. However, if you die in the battle space, uh, the auto healing time will be reset. Yeah, that's fine. So it, bas it basically just, okay, I just got followed whilst making the video. <laughs> Thank you for that. If you're watching, appreciate the follow. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically that's really, really cool. I like the idea and it just it just you don't have to worry about it it's just one less thing to stress about and worry about basically so what is this um requires a healing fee and is used in order of the free restoration recovery coins okay so if you t if you take up too much then there is going to be a cost um that that's fine now this is the other huge thing the runes and the hammers so they're changing the rune socket reset cost and the amount of rune fragments. So basically, regardless of the number of rune socket resets, the amount of rune hammers required for a reset will be fixed. So how it is right as right from today is, 
the more times you reset, it will cost more and more and more hammers. Now, I really did a dedicated video on that, complaining and giving my thoughts. So now it's great to see that already, after so many people have complained about it, you cannot... NCSoft makes some strange choices sometimes, but one thing I will give them props for is they do listen to feedback. And when they realize that they've made a mistake, they're not afraid to say, okay, cool, we've made a mistake, let's change it. So what they've done is the current socket system is, is designed to increase the cost with the number of uh, resets as rune hammers become easier to acquire. So it's saying, however, it takes you some time to reach that stage and the hurdles are high so we have confirmed that you are experiencing more discomfort than intended. We would like to proceed with care to resolve this. We have changed the rune reset cost to a fixed one to reduce the burden in the early stages. And they're actually going to be refunding the hammers that people have obviously uh, used as well. I'm not gonna go through every little line. Of course, as always, I will um, put the, the link to the patch notes in the comment section down below so you can read through every single thing that you want to in your own time. Um, but that is a big W. Also, they're now doing a uh, vote to kick system. This is insane. We should have had this already because basically what has been happening when you're doing, um, when you're pugging the dungeons, tier two dungeons, somebody can just troll and you cannot kick them because they're uh, into server. So they can go AFK, they can just deliberately just not leave and they control and you can't do nothing about it. So now they're going to do a vote to kick system, which, okay, yes, that can also be used in a toxic way, but I'd rather have this than, than the system that we currently have where you can't kick. And if I, because if I decide to go offline um, or just, you know, I could literally just stand here and grief and go and make, make go and make, a, uh, go and make my dinner and you can't do nothing about it. So yeah, happy to see that happening. Um, they've changed some stuff for the uh, tier two dungeons. It seems like they're making it a little bit easier for some of the one shot mechanics. So it is what it is, whatever. They're doing some changes to fishing, some fixes and stuff like that. Um, changing the UI. So these are all just obviously quality of life, some bug fixes, some changes. This is fine, nothing too important. I didn't think it's too important to go through for you. But again, like I said, if you really want to read this, you can, of course, go through all of this. Some bug fixes for the weapons as well. There's a hyper boosting box, which is fine. That's only relevant if you're on the, obviously, if you're on the hyper boost server. Then we've got some new uh, skins and some new like morphs and amatoids and stuff like that. Um, we've got the summer skins that they spoke about before. So we've got bikinis, we've got sunglasses, we've got shorts, all of that good stuff for summer. We've also got some new uh, weapon skins as well. So what I will do is I will show you promotional details. I will quickly show you the uh, weapon skins. I'm pretty sure they show us. So these are the uh, female costumes you can see here, looking pretty decent for summer. Got the male ones, again, looking pretty decent. You can even be topless. <laughs> and then you can obviously dye them and stuff like that. And then here are the weapon skins. Weapon skins are always looking really, really good. Always. I, I never have anything negative really to say about the weapon skins. So yeah, so you can see here, all looking pretty damn good. So yeah, that's going to be it. I wanted to try and keep this as short as possible because there isn't tons of like content, but great changes to the rune system. And of course, huge changes to the death penalty system. I'm very, very pleased with that. So yeah, anyway, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Peace.